for yourself over all things. The Bible says, fine. When you get a little tedious, when you get a little tired, sometimes we're human beings, so sometimes we get a little tired along the way. You know, when you're taking a journey, you have to get out and stretch sometimes. See, when you're in the journey of life, sometimes you need to get out and stretch sometimes. But see, you have to get back in the car and continue the journey. See, that's the same thing with Jesus Christ. See, sometimes you might get a little tired sometimes. Sometimes you might get a little restless. Sometimes you might say, I'm going to have to put down the Bible for a minute and just rest for a second. But don't get tired of studying. Amen. Don't get tired of coming to church. Don't get tired of going to Bible study. Don't get tired of don't get tired of praying. Don't get tired of meditating. You have to understand you're on the journey. The Bible says say, say the race is not given to the swiftest, but he that finished the race. So understand that you're on a journey and understand that the journey that you're on. Don't try to be where somebody else is. Try to be where God would have you to be. That long life journey. It's not about who got there first. The key is that you finish the race. Amen. That's all that counts. The Bible says you want to do this. He says submit yourself unto God. Do that first. He said then resist the devil. In other words, go to war against your enemy. Don't allow him to take control of your life. Go to war. And he said, not only that, don't go to war within your own self. He said, find a brother. Find him. He wants you to go to war in the power of his might. Because he said, the battle isn't yours. It's the Lord's. Amen? Amen. God bless you to stay here.